You ready to fight? You ready? Yeah. All right, so back in 1976, Muhammad Ali tried his hand against Antonio Inoki. It was billed as the War of the Worlds. Tonight, though, is his mixed martial arts debut. It comes against the consensus greatest of all time, John Jones Jones. And the only reason you get John Jones in fight number one is because you're Muhammad Ali. You go right to the front of the line. All the things that Ali have accomplished in his life lets him stand amongst the Giants. John Jones looks forward to a massive opportunity to cement himself as one of the greatest combat athletes of all time. Early connection with the left from the champ. That punch, no good. to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, in the night, that will land right on the spot. Switch his stance here. We'll see how the defense responds. Oh, so John Jones changes levels, and now he takes the fight to the ground. He's a junior college national champion, and I remember when John Jones was in college, everyone looked at him. Oklahoma State, Iowa State. He chose to fight, and he shows right now why he had so much big Division I interest in his wrestling career. Just gotta be careful here. Position by Jones. Making all these shots count. Now trying to trap an arm. Oh, he's got the arm in tight. Wow, somehow, some way he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done. Seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover and looks like he got a Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Well, when you absorb damage like this, you start to worry about a guy missing the rest of the year. At what point, if you're the referee, do you call in the ringside position? Well, right now, yeah. I feel like a bit, a little bitical because he called in the ringside position. There's no one would have cared because you look at him and you see that he has been thoroughly beaten, and tonight is just not his night. Oh, and he's back up again. Always busy here in the clinch, lands a nice punch there. All right, so the strike lands, but my my children hit him. <laughs> yeah, at this point, early in the fight, you saw his, his head snapping back. You can see the effect the punches were taking. Now, he may as well just be smacking him on the arm, like, good job, guy. What a fight. Stunned him with that knee to the head. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. Oh, Jones gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Nice combination there. Well, John Jones showing you some of those new weapons here tonight. Mike Winklejohn is always fond of saying, you don't see 30% of what Johnny Bones is able to do in the gym. And with every passing fight, starting to show you new wrinkles, new weapons in that arsenal. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Lands a big right hand there. Under 30 seconds. That's a good strike there by Johnny Bo. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace 
over and over as he hits his takedown attempts. Another takedown right. land. Round two straight ahead. All right, so we hit the end of the round, and the fighter quickly makes his way back to the stool. The cut man hustles in to apply some end swell. This swelling has gotten out of control. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying. You ready to fight? You ready? Go All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Jones. Trying to kick the leg out. Connects now with the one-two. Oh, a huge block there. He does a phenomenal job of actually attacking the takedowns off of his punches. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Well, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. You can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Right into a takedown. Jones is in half court. Pretty accurate there from bottom position. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, I'm no expert, but that Von Flute choke looks locked in. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Muhammad Ali gets back up again. Nicely done. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Jockey in for position in the clinch. Both fighters here trying to get a more dominant position. Effective with the jab. Clinch oh, connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, the official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 43 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John. All right, so John Jones back on the proving ground here tonight and adding to his appreciable legacy as he gets it done by knockout. He did a great job of setting up his strikes that ultimately led to him finding one that ends the night. John Jones is one of the greatest fighters of all time. Part of it is due to his mind. Tonight, his mind was on full display as he set the traps he needed in order to get this knockout victory. And if you were listening to what he was saying during fight week, he essentially called his shot, predicted the knockout. No TKO tonight. It is Johnny Bones Jones 
by KO.